I have a confession to make. And while I still stand behind the fact that the Nurture Right 360 is a great beginner incubator, I have been hatching monthly out of mine for like three years now, and I have to confess that I am having some issues. What happened was I bought two new Nurture Right 360s a couple weeks ago because I needed more space to hatch eggs. Now, I hear y'all. I should just get a cabinet incubator. It would save me money in the long run to get a cabinet incubator. And I did have a cabinet incubator last year. Last year I was hatching out of the GQ app, Sportsman 1502 or whatever. I had the cabinet incubator and the hatcher. And I'm sure it was a me thing because you all speak like volumes about that incubator, but my hatch rates were bad. Like like 60% bad. And I think that I just couldn't get the temperature and probably the humidity right in them. Eventually what I started doing is I stopped using the hatcher and I started incubating in the cabinet incubator and hatching out of the nurture rights. And in the end, I was like, you know what? I would rather just keep hatching out of my nurture rights and I sold it. So anyways, been there, tried it. It didn't work for me. I'm sure it's not the incubator. I'm sure it's a me thing. So fast forward to my two new nurture rights. I got them and I plugged them in and I noticed that my two new nurture rights in comparison to my four older nurture rates were like the humidity was off on my new nurture rates my humidity was showing like 23 percent and my old nurture rates the humidity was showing like 55 percent which was way off so then i invested in these cheap hygrometers and what i mean by investment is i wasted 20 bucks because they're terrible so then i took your advice and i invested in these gove is it gove or govi and thermo hygrometers and these have been really great for me so are you ready to learn how incredibly off my three-year-old nurture rates are reading on temperature and humidity because like honestly I don't even know how my eggs have been hatching the last couple hatches okay 99.5 49% okay well that it went down to 42 38 because I just opened it so 49% but this incubator is actually set to 104.5 degrees <laughs> and the uh, humidity is reading about 20% higher than it actually is in there another one 99.5, 40%, which is good. Incubator is actually set to, what is it set to? 104 degrees. It's set to 104 degrees to get it at 99.5 degrees. 100.2 and 40%. The incubator is set to 102 degrees and the humidity is up by about seven to 10%. 100. And 49%. This incubator is set to a hundred. Oh, wow, check it out. This incubator is accurate. Okay, so one of my old incubators is still accurate. That's good. Those are my opal leg bars in there. These are the newer nurture rights that made me aware of the problem. And let's see 99.6, 35%. 99.2, 35%. So look, in conclusion, I can't really hate on the Nurture Right too much because like I said, I have been hatching out of these literally every month for like three years without issue. I am really glad that I got the secondary hydrometer and thermometers. I'm really glad that I went with the Gove, Govi product. And I'm definitely on the train of getting secondary thermometer and hygrometer just in case.